leatherette. Oh, it'll engrave it. But should I engrave it on the bolt or on the Aurora light? Because they both do an excellent job of engraving leatherette. So let me clear up a space here and we'll burn it on both machines and take a look at the results today on LaserNug. As you know, the Aurora light is a fiber laser and fiber lasers are generally engineered to engrave or cut metals. Whereas your Thunder Laser Bolt is an RFCO2 laser and it's primarily engineered to engrave or cut what I'd call softer materials. However, there is a little bit of overlap and leatherette is one of those materials and they both do an excellent job. So let me start off, I'm gonna give you my settings for leatherette and then in the second part of this video, we'll burn a sample on both machines and take a look. And then I'll fill you in on a few things I've learned. Let's do it. Here in Lightburn, I'll just take you down. We're gonna go into my material library. And this is my Aurora Light library. And I've created a new category for leatherette here. Rawhide, that's the color I have. And here are my engraved settings on the Aurora Light. You're at a thousand millimeters per second, 75 kilohertz of frequency, max power of 25, one pass. Your lines per inch at 500, bi-directional fill with one pass. I'll bring you back into the library. I'm gonna select my bolt library, just in case you missed it on the other videos. I'll give you my settings for the bolt. There's leatherette here. And we want rawhide and I have an engraved layer. On the bolt, I run at 800 millimeters per second, maximum power of 20%, ignore the frequency there. My lines per inch is at 300, and I do one pass bi-directional fill. I also have a cut layer in the bolt, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. My cut layer on the bolt is 20 millimeters per second at 50% power, one pass. And of course, we always put high air assist on whenever we're cutting material. So those are my settings. Now let's fire up the machines and we'll do the same logo on a piece of rawhide colored leatherette on both machines and take a look. The Aurora light's all fired up, so we're gonna do that first. I've just grabbed a piece of my leatherette I just cut off of my sheet. It's a rawhide color and I have adhesive on the back or the glue. Here in Lightburn, I've just opened up my own logo here and I've just given it all one color. Once I get some settings dialed in, I always like to try to do an engrave that has a number of different attributes to it. For example, I've got some nice big fat letters here that give a big wide engrave, as well as smaller letters. I've got some detail here around the laser head between the N and the U, and I've got some letters that have some nice sharp points to them. So it gives me a chance to really take a look at that engrave and make sure that it's clean and crisp before I finalize my settings. So we'll highlight it. I'm gonna come down here to my material library. I have my Aurora Light library open. I'm gonna come down to Leatherette, open her up. Under Rawhide, I have an engrave setting. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna assign that to my black layer. I'm gonna come back down click on laser. I've already sized the piece and we're ready to frame it and then burn it. Windows open. I like to keep mine on image bound framing only just so I can see the outline. And let's go to the light. Here in the Aurora light, I'm just going to grab a guide just to help out a little bit. I'll drop that into place. Keep us reasonably square. I put it on low lights so hopefully you can see the engrave better and I am going to disable the door locks although I highly recommend you always have your door down when possible but for the sake of the video I'll disable the door lock so you can see the engrave. I have a piece of leatherette. First thing I want to do use my focus dots. See if I can focus that in. I think I'm good just to make sure these are my old eyes. I'm going to use my focus, lift her up a bit, there we go, now we're perfectly focused, that looks better. 
and I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move my design over to fit onto my leatherette. I just dropped a couple of magnets on there or weights just to keep the leatherette down and let's begin. Okay, that was a 35 second burn. Let's take a look. That is a beautiful engrave. Consistent, clean, all of the material is off. There are no lines. Nice, deep, dark, and black. Now let's fire up our old friend, the bolt. Back in light burn. I just made a quick border around the LaserDug logo and I've grouped them. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller just to match size. I'm going to come down to the bottom right and under my devices I'm going to change that to the bolt. Interesting, I'm not sure why, but every time I switch between machines you'll see my design always flips upside down. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm just going to flip it the right way by using these triangles up here. I'm going to grab that, move it over, maybe make it a little bigger for us. I'm going to come back down to the material library and I've got my bolt library open. I'm going to come down to leatherette and I'm going to use rawhide and I am going to use my cut layer. I'm going to highlight my red Use my cut layer and assign it. And then I'm going to highlight my black layer up here in my layer window. I'm going to come down to the library, highlight engrave, and I'm going to assign that. Okay, we're going to switch back to laser at the bottom. I don't want absolute coordinates this time, so I'm going to use user origin. And I'm going to place it in the top left, that's where I like it. My logo is set, it's sized. I have my layers. Let's send it to the bolt. Here in the bolt, I'm just going to set my piece here. Because it's loose, I'm just going to drop a few magnets on there. I've got my one and a half inch lens today. I'm just going to autofocus. Set my origin here to start. That should do it right there. Origin, frame. Good. Okay, let's close it down. Let's run the job. Nice. That was one minute and 20 seconds. Aurora Light, Bolt. Both beautiful, clean, crisp engraves. They both have a nice deep black to them. One thing to point out though, I've noticed that when I'm burning this leatherette on the Aurora Light, there's virtually no debris or any type of soot to clean off. But there always is a little bit to clean off when you're using the CO2 laser. But as you can see, they're both very sharp, brilliant engraves. The bolt took a little longer, but that of course, you know, if I wanted to, I could try to increase my settings or try to get it done quicker. I just, those are the settings that I established a while ago and they're the ones I tend to use because I get uh, consistent, clean results every time. But there may be one difference that you've probably already caught on to. I was able to cut my patch with adhesive on the back. Nice, clean, crisp cut line. But I didn't cut this one on the Aurora Light fiber laser. 
That's because the fiber laser won't cut adhesive. It won't cut the paper. And trust me, I tried quite a few times, even at full power and the best settings I could at least come up with being new to the Aurora light, I still couldn't get it through the adhesive on the back until I had it at pretty much full power and it's not a very clean cut. However, if you don't have adhesive on the back, the Aurora light will cut the leatherette itself and it does a good job cutting it. But I don't know if it's the wavelengths or just the type of laser, but it does not like paper. So, if you order your leatherette with adhesive on the back and you're ordering it in sheets like I do, most likely you're gonna want a CO2 laser like the Bolt to be able to cut your designs and patterns cleanly through the adhesive. If you order patches or pre-cut shapes like most people do or a lot of people do to do your hat patches or your sports bag patches, then you can certainly do them in the Aurora light. It's fast and it's a nice clean engrave. So I think that's a wrap for another video. I really appreciate you sticking around. Enjoy your laser. And if you haven't tried leatherette yet, give it a shot. Whether you've got a bolt or an Aurora light, either one of them will do an excellent engrave for you. Have a nice week. Please be kind to each other. And I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter, and you've been watching LaserNug. Cheers.